your girl Michaela Janae here back with another video and as you can see my background is a little different once again but I'm kind of having fun changing it up. I did a little cute protective style, your girl was looking cute so I was like this is the perfect time to record a highly requested video. This is going to be my relaxed hair care video. I'm so excited to get this out for you guys so let's hop right into it. Right. First and foremost I just want to give a little bit of you know community announcements that's what I'm going to start to call them. My first announcement is that this is not the normal or the usual relaxed hair channel it seems like nowadays a lot of us can get so caught up in the systems or the hacks to growing your hair longer or trying different things to fix this problem or trying different things to get more growth or maintain but on this channel my main thing is leaving your hair alone I follow a less is more hair care regimen and hair care routine as you're gonna see through this video I focus on healthy hair rather than long hair if you guys go back and watch my first hair videos which you definitely should if you like my hair videos and you love my content all my new subscribers you should go back and watch my hair videos I'll even make a playlist for you guys that is where I talked about how to grow your hair long how to prevent breakage how to go to sleep with your hair how to grow your hair out quickly if you guys would like me to you know redo those videos and revamp it I definitely can but in those videos that's where I kind of gave you the fundamentals of growing your hair and getting it to the healthy point it needs to be and now that we're here and I've got my hair to the health I wanted at now I'm trying to maintain and as I maintain I leave it alone so that is the main point of this video that I'm going to be showing you less is more as you guys can see I'm not like the other people in the hair community I'm, I don't try a lot of things as far as a lot of weird things I'm also not a product junkie as you guys will know and I think that's really awesome about me because as people try things it's fun to watch them try it but I like to stick to what works so if you guys are interested in my favorite products I can do that for you guys too and show you guys what I like to use on a daily basis a weekly basis because I don't do a lot that's why I most of my videos are styling videos because each week I am trying to find a style to leave my hair alone. I'm not the type of person that's always in my head. My mom told me when you get yourself off of your mind and get your mind off of your hair, that is when it will begin to grow. And as I've gotten older, that is when I realized that it really reigns true. The minute I started leaving my hair alone, letting it go, not trying to, I wanted waist length, I wanted raw strap length. Once you let it go, that is when your hair will come together. So I thought I'd just say that first as a little information about me and about this channel. Now on my channel, I'm focusing on giving you guys really cute styles, fun styles, different styles that you can do to leave it alone, you know, set it and forget it. That's the type of hair I like to do, honey. But I also like to look cute and snatched at all times. Okay, so that is what I focused on. No matter your hair length, it's about keeping it cute, keeping it healthy, and keeping it on your head so it's not breaking off and it's not falling out. That's what I like to do. Despite all the talking, I just want to give that little community announcement. Let's hop into this hair care video. As you guys know, I don't do too much. I wash, do a style, wash, deep condition, wash, hot oil treatment. I pretty much stick to the basics. So during the winter, I for sure wash every two weeks. Since I've been in school and now I'm going into my college years and stuff, I always do everything on a Saturday, never in the middle of the week. That is when I wash. My favorite product line my whole life, what my mother has used in my hair. You know, we, we venture out and try different things because we love trying new products, but what we have up to and what has been our favorites is the cream of nature argan oil that is what's been working for us for years i actually do have a new favorite that i've been using if you guys want to see my favorite relaxed hair products i can feature that but this is my holy grail trusty dusty shampoo and conditioners it's just the intensive conditioning treatment the argan oil cream of nature and the moisture and shine shampoo like we was buying these by the bulb loads this is what she has in her salon and this is what we use in our hair we absolutely love this product sometimes we'll use this as a deep conditioner too so i'll sit under the dryer with this in my hair for about 30 minutes every two weeks during the winter this is what we're using during the summer that is when i may begin to wash more frequently because i'm working out more i'm sweating in 
my head more or I'm just trying new styles and you know after you get tired of the style you just want to wash like no matter what since you have time in the summer you want to wash more so that's when I begin to wash more frequently but no matter when I'm washing I'm always using these products right here now sometimes that I wash I deep conditions other times that I wash I do a hot oil treatment and I also do a protein treatment protein is also really important I use the ORS hair restore hair mayonnaise this is what we've used recently you guys know the original protein treatment was the Afrogy protein reconstructor you know it smelled really bad and then we progressed to this hair mayonnaise because it's the smell is really good it's not as harsh of a smell so I really enjoy doing this we don't do this really often maybe once a month we'll use this product right here and we've just recently got into using you know real mayonnaise out of the store and you know the blue plate whatever we've been putting that on our hair you know the smell isn't too bad but it leaves your hair really really shiny and it does the exact same thing as this product so if you don't have this product using regular mayonnaise is just as good for your protein treatments when I do an oil treatment, you guys know I use the essential, seven essential oils. It's like the little Sally's brand, I think. And I don't have the container, but this is what we put it in. And I sit under the dryer once again for 30 minutes with this in my hair. Now, I also use this after I wash my hair. I use this to oil my scalp. I feel like a lot of people neglect their scalp, but I am making sure from when I'm washed that the oils are seeping in and drying into my scalp. So I won't get a lot of dandruff or flakes and all that good stuff. So I use this regular oil. I do the same thing every wash with the same product. So I also use a leave-in. Let me see if I can grab the leave-in. I have some of my leave-in, but it's not in the right bottle. But I use the Afrogy leave-in. I spray that in my hair, put the oil, divide it into two little puffs, and then I go sit underneath the dryer until my hair is like... 80% dry and if you guys watch my wash day routines that is in those videos that's why I'm not showing it to you guys because I already did videos on that process so that is my whole washing process either I'm deep conditioning proteining hot oil treatments then I wash it out then I spray my leave-in or my scalp get under the dryer once my hair is dry and I've picked a style you guys know I love to roll flexi ride I love doing styles like this during the summer I love to do buns, not a lot of high buns because you know that really stresses out your nape area. Um, whether I'm flat ironing, doing a twist out, I pick a style and during the week I leave it alone. When I touch up my edges, I use the Style Factor Edge Booster. This is not sponsored. I recently saw a video and people were saying that this product was trash. This company has not paid me for anything and I love this product. It has never left any bright residue on my hair and you guys have watched my videos. I never edit any white residue out this product works fine for me I can't speak for everyone else but I love it I paid for it with my own cash every time I'm out right now so I actually need to get some more and I will so I use that to touch up my edges I use my eco style gel to touch up my edges another I guess controversial product but I just recently got back into this because I know when I'm doing twist outs or roller sets and things like that I needed a nice holding gel and I just went back to this it lasts for a long time I only spent four dollars on it so this is what I use also and throughout the week I just enjoy putting serums on my hair sometimes I'll moisturize and when I do moisturize for twist outs wash and goes or just moisturizing and sealing my hair I use the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Curl Enhancing Butter now this is not my all-time moisturizer you guys know that I don't really switch up products often but one thing I switch up all the time is my moisturizer I keep one moisturizer at a time so when this one is over then I'll get a new one and I'll switch I haven't like repeated a moisturizer yet I keep getting new ones but this is the one I'm using right now and I like that this moisturizer is more like a hairdress it doesn't wet up your hair it doesn't have a lot of water in it so you can put it on even flat iron hair so that's what I enjoy about this product it can be put on flat iron hair without making my hair curl up 
So that is what I look for in a moisturizer these days. You guys know I'm all about the Blue Magic Hair Grease to be specific. I use this to grease my scalp once a week. I use this to seal my ends. I use this all the time. This is the coconut oil one. I'm still on the same container because it takes a while for me to run out. So this is what I use to grease my scalp, seal my ends, add shine, whatever I need it for. This is my go-to throughout the week. When I'm not using grease, I am using the serum. Right here I have the Chi Silk Confusion, which is my holy grail product that I use. You guys know I'm putting you on so a few products right now. And I'm also using the Bio Silk Silk Therapy, another little serum like that, and the Chi Keratin Silk Fusion. These little minis right here, that is what I use throughout the week to, you know, add shine, uh, do a little light moisturizer, put something on my ends when I feel like it's dry, that is what I do. I also use the Revlon Oil Sheen for shine throughout the week. You know, I tie up my hair, I let it go. If you guys would like a favorite product video, how I tie up my head, how to grow your hair longer. If you guys would like me to recreate some of the videos that I did earlier and kind of update them and put a more current spin on them, let me know because I can definitely redo them for you guys I always advocate doing what's best for your hair that's why I really don't speak too much on products or the things I'm doing because I want you guys to find what works for you try different things out and see what cooperates with your hair don't try like crazy things out or things that is not normal because of course that might not work for anyone's hair but do what's best for you whether it's being relaxed or natural using this moisturizer using that moisturizer shampooing with this or shampooing with that do what works best for you and what gives you the best result and what helps you grow what keeps the hair on your head is what's most important if you guys would like me to do more informational videos more sitting down videos showing you guys the products how to use them things like that i can definitely try to do that for you guys and recreate some of my old videos so if you're interested in that let me know but i think that is it for my relaxed hair care routine i don't really do a lot i keep it really simple really short really sweet because i'm not trying to spend all day in my head i just want to look cute okay i just want to look cute oh also whenever i do rinses i use adore this is my brand of choice you guys know i do have color treated hair so every so often my mom lifts my hair i've never bleached my hair before she just lifts it with a color and developer and then i begin to put reds or oranges over it right here is the adore crimson but i also have have the Adore Paprika and this is the color I currently have on my hair I'm going to dye it again so stay tuned for that I hope you guys enjoyed this video more like this is on the way please comment in the comments so stick with me I will see you in next week's video we're going to get back into our summer curl series it's been so fun trying all these different hairstyles I also have a bun video coming out so stay tuned for all of that I'm gonna holler at y'all when I see y'all next.